there's nothing better than to make a pumpkin soup with your own roasted pumpkin. The flavor will be so much richer and intense. I have a three to four pound sugar pumpkin here and I'm going to get it ready to roast. I had trouble getting the stem off so I'm just going to bake it with the stem on. Place your pumpkin on parchment paper on a heavy duty cookie sheet and I'm going to bake this at 350 for an hour. Finely chop one large onion and put that aside. You'll need about two large tablespoons of fresh ginger and I love to peel it with a spoon. It works out great. I'm trimming it off a little bit and then I'm going to cut it into julienne strips and then take those strips and mince them down really fine. Put your ginger aside. Now you're going to also want some fresh chopped garlic. So I've peeled about five cloves and minced those really fine. The pumpkin has finally come out of the oven. I stabbed it and the knife went through really easily. You'll see it's like a little bit of a dark color on the outside. So once it's cooled really well, take off the stem and then you're going to cut it in half. Scoop out all of the seeds just like you would with your Halloween pumpkin and if you like to toast the seeds you can separate those all later and bake them off. Here's the cleaned out pumpkin and now it will be very easy to quarter this pumpkin and you'll want to start scraping out the pulp and that's going to be super easy now that it's so soft. So just grab a really large spoon and get as much as you can off of that skin and even scrape it afterwards and you'll see that there'll even be more flesh that you can get off. I'm adding about three tablespoons of avocado oil to a large soup pot. This could also be olive oil or canola oil. Add your onions when the oil's a little hot and one teaspoon of salt. This sweats your onions. I'm also adding my ginger right now. And I wanna start cooking my onions on like medium low heat until they're really tender and soft. You can see they're translucent. Now I'm going to add the garlic and cook that for just a couple of more minutes. I'm adding two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and I'm going to add one teaspoon of allspice. This is going to give the pumpkin soup some really beautiful flavor. So mix that in with the onions and just blend it well and keep cooking it on low heat for just a couple of minutes. Now add into the pan all of your cooked pumpkin pulp and you're going to just mix that up with that beautiful mixture of onions and spices and garlic and ginger. And now I'm adding four cups of chicken broth. This could be vegetarian stock too if you want. So put a lid on this and put this on medium heat and cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can see now that everything is soft and I'm making sure that my handheld blender is below the liquid so it doesn't spray all over the kitchen and me. You could also put this in a regular blender or in a food processor. Just be careful because it's really hot. So now I'm tasting it and it definitely needs salt. So here's one teaspoon of kosher salt and some ground black pepper. And I'm gonna taste it again and it needs just one more teaspoon of salt. Add one half cup of heavy cream. If you don't wanna use dairy, you can find a good substitute and that will work too and just blend this in and it really makes it so luxurious to do this, to add that cream. Tasting it again and I think it's just right. Now it's time to fry some sage leaves. This is such a great technique. They do this in Italy a lot to put on some pumpkin pastas, but I'm just taking some sage from my garden and getting them a light golden brown and then just hand pick them out. It just gives a beautiful texture. So spoon out your pumpkin soup and then after after that, you're going to garnish it with some of your fried sage. This is such an incredible dish. It's really filling and it's great for the fall and winter months. You can dribble a little tiny bit of the cream on top to make it look really pretty. And I'm grinding some pepper around the edges because I think that looks great too. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel yet, please do. I would really love it. And if you'll give this a like, it will also really help my channel.